Hello, my name is Dr Gareth Francis and I believe science should be fun. My company, Working Science, provides school workshops, after school clubs and even science parties. Today I'm going to show you some fun science that you can do at home. Today we're going to make and explode a little rocket, okay? It's not too dangerous, so you can do it at home. Um, it's quite fun, so children, I do this with children all the time, so um, it's quite safe. Um, what you're going to need is a 35 millimeter film canister and you can get one of these from any old uh, film shop um, and it needs to be the type that has a ridge on the inside and it has a ridge on there as well because that shuts quite tightly and when we make that this is going to be the body of the rocket and we're going to put some chemicals inside the rocket and when it um, the, the height that it goes is determined by how snug the fit is of the lid. Okay, so the better the lid is, uh, the higher the rocket will go. The other things we're going to need are some craft materials, if you want to make a nice rocket that looks something like this, and then the chemicals to make the rocket explode. And you could do a couple of different options with this. First one is vinegar and bicarbonate of soda and those two chemicals mix together to make carbon dioxide gas and that uh, fills up the canister and makes it explode. Or you could use a fizzy tablet of some kind uh, like these and water. They both work. You only need a quarter of a tablet really for, for this sort of thing if it's a big one. So first of all we're going to make our rocket. So we're going to have one of these film canisters and we're just going to cut a bit of paper like that it's quite simple you can make them as elaborate as you want obviously but I'm just going to make a very simple one important thing to remember is not to get any sellotape inside the lip okay of this because that will stop the lid coming off okay so you want to do that and you want to also keep the paper away really from the lid area so you can close it quite easily so then you can make it as elaborate as you want. You can put wings on it like this, and you can also make a nose cone. And a way to make a nose cone is you just cut out a circle, paper like this, and simply cut a slit in it, and then just slide it along like that. Like so. Put a bit of sellotape on. Try and make it the right height. Right size, something like that. And then you can trim it afterwards. So that can stick on something like that. Um, the important thing to remember is that the bottom of the canister is where the lid is going to pop off. So it's going to be upside down. So you don't, so don't put the nose cone on that side there. So if we have made your rocket, looks something like this, and you have a lid. Okay. So next thing is to fill it with your rocket fuel. Quite simple. We'll just put a few, it's about half a centimetre of vinegar in the rocket fuel. Not too much. The more you put in, and the more bicarbonate you put in, the faster it explodes. So if you put less in, it will be a bit slower, you'll have to wait, but, it's, uh, but it won't explode in your hand, which you don't really want, to be honest. So we'll do that. You need some bicarbonate of soda. Not very much, only a little bit like this. And you have to get your timing right now, so I need to put it in, put the lid on, and then put it down and, uh, and retire to a safe area and don't stand and look over it like this because it will explode in your face. So let's have a go. Put that in like so, put the lid on like so, give it a shake, put it like that. Something like that. So that's how to make a rocket and launch it.